Hey everybody, it's Alex Miller at Capneon here. Today, LinkedIn is buzz with the news of the launch of ChatGPT Enterprise. This is OpenAI's product for large companies that want to use ChatGPT. I'd like to talk at a high level about what's the point of this. I'll go into some details that I think other ones, for reasons I'll explain, are, are best viewed at a high level. I've made a bunch of videos about you're at the corporate office, you think ChatGPT is cool and can do a lot to increase your productivity or even automate tasks completely, but then big corporations justifiably have a lot of concerns about what kind of IT stuff people is using and what are the risks of various sorts, regulatory data loss, et cetera, attached to this. So OpenAI, the maker of ChatGPT, has already had kind of a bad data breach. If you just go use the free version, they're using the data of that conversation to improve the model. And there's a small but interestingly terrifying risk in that training the model part that your data is going to leak out somehow in some other kind of conversation. OpenAI gets sued about a billion times a second, which is not a real exciting thing in somebody you're doing business with. They got banned in Italy. And in general, they're a really young company that is about 80 billion miles from being cash flow positive. They're, in addition to all these things about they might lose your data and that kind of risk, they might just not be stable enough to satisfy you. So there's a lot of concerns about them. A large corporation with revenue that feels like it's going to be around forever would like to do business with another company that has those same kinds of virtues if they can. So enter ChatGPT Enterprise. It's an attempt at solving these problems. And they've got pretty good answers for some, but not all of the things I mentioned. So... This was already available, I believe, but is now packaged consistently, colon. They're not going to use your data for training, so that's great. And there's really no reason they have to. That's something they do to benefit them. They added some other encryption and privacy features. On this front, it really has to be a story about someone who's basically a compliance officer or an expert has a list of concerns, and hopefully you can take all the, those boxes. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Some of these other things I talk about, broader concerns about are new regulations going to appear? Is OpenAI going to get sued out of existence? Are they going to suddenly run out of money? You know, those, those are still at large, unfortunately, but they have done a good job of addressing, you know, purely technical ones that you could solve these problems with a new, more refined product. If you're a practitioner, you're interested in using the thing. There's also a number of other things that are part of this new product that you might be interested in. So it uses GPT-4 by default, which is their best model right now. I expect the story is always going to be that the enterprise tier uses the best model and that you can't get access to all of the best models without going to some kind of nice tier. There's also some interesting things about you can use larger prompts, which is good. So right now, whatever you're putting into ChatGPT can only be a fixed size. I'm not exactly sure how this would work in the API, but this can potentially also give you just broader freedom of movement and doing your prompt engineering. Maybe you would have to break something up before. Now you can do it in one piece. These things are all great. So if you were potentially a big corporate customer and some of those risks out there were making you nervous, maybe some of your concerns have been satisfied and, and this is attainable now and it wasn't before. It's worth spotlighting. There are some other things along these lines out there already to solve these problems for you. 
some vaguely through OpenAI, actually, and some not. So a few weeks ago, it was announced that ChatGPT and probably eventually other open AI models would be available via Microsoft Azure. And of course, Microsoft has been a very major investor in open AI and they've, they're very much in bed together. So that's a great option. And they rolled out that option exactly because they wanted to satisfy these concerns. If you're already in Azure, you hopefully have already answered these questions about handling your data with respect to Azure. And I would hope that the whatever you're plugging to in Azure is, is going to have those same standards involved. There's also open source models. I think the really big one is Llama 2 right now. And there's a lot of other ones, but a huge chunk of them are descended from Llama 2. So that's probably the interesting place to get started if you want to read more. I will put out there one final dark horse category of risk, which is that, well, if you turn all of, all of your business over to an AI, there's lots of ways it could just do the wrong thing relative to some law or just public opinion. It could discriminate in an unwholesome way. It could, I mean, it could just offend somebody. It could do all kinds of things that you don't really want on your brand. Open source gives you a lot more opportunity to peer under the hood and prevent these things. Speaking a little more cynically, it gives you a lot more opportunity to pretend that you did due diligence to that effect. Although, I guess also if you if you did due diligence, it makes it harder to, to sue somebody else if that's how you wanted to escape from that pickle. So... New option from OpenAI, hopefully solves some problems large corporate clients, potential clients might have had. Probably doesn't solve all of them. Worth noting, there's other stuff out there already that's trying to tick these boxes for you. This kind of meta story, I would watch it closely, especially the LinkedIn crowd if you're interested in thinking about these things in the context of large corporation because everybody can see the potential is there. Lots of people have concerns about if we can do this in the right way to stay out of trouble. And people are working on solving those problems and making progress. And this is part of that progress.